Hi guys, this is Mega88-1000 again with a fourth update with you about the Figurize Standard Digimon Anime Design Model Kit figure series because the next release has been officially announced by Bandai in the form of preview images with such an Familor promotion update. As you could already see along with the first seconds of this vid, this time it's a model kit of Dukemon or Gallantmon from Digimon Tamers. This time this official promotion by Bandai can be found on their Bandai Hobbynet page and under the special so-called section Bandai Hobby Next Phase 2021 Autumn. I took the pictures and translated information partly from the Wiftable forum and of course from the official Bandai hobby site and I will have linked both sites for you in the video's description down below again. The update at the Wiftable forum site was posted on 14th November 2021, so I'm very late with quite a month over with my update about it and I'm sorry for that guys but honestly I didn't expect it another new announcement after Figure Standard Magnamon this year got announced for the series and that's why I shouldn't call this an update anymore but yeah no matter I would say rather late than never right the first figurized standard anime design model kit of the series has already been released with Warcraymon in Japan in October 2021 and the second Metal Gaurumon should be released in Japan in December 2021. Now too. Maybe it's already out? Figurized standard Magnamon's release was announced for February 2022 in Japan and as I said about a month ago the figure standard model kit of Dukemon Gallantmon which by the way got announced for the same suggested retail price of 2530 yen got announced by Bandai with the same price like Magnamon before you can also see that in this first picture, which is again the announcement teaser banner, in addition, in the next picture below, you can see the planned release date for Figurize Standard Dukemon, which is June 2022 and Japan for him. In terms of price, the 2530 yen for Dukemon model kit would be about a bit less than 23 US dollars or a bit over 19 euros according to my own calculation which I done for the update for the Magnamon model kit. So also for the Dukemon model kit they suggesting the same retail price as they also suggested for Metal Gaurumon model kit. Only Warcraymon had been announced a bit cheaper back then but I still think that these are still very cheap prices, good prices for the next ones. But I also said last time that I think that because of the rather low prices which Bandai offering for the figure standard anime design model kits, these are definitely much smaller than the bigger amplified Digimon kits. Let's finally get to the information notes which were written about the single official product images about Figure I Standard Dukemon model kit's promotion. That would also be the third picture marked with point one. However, in the With the Will forum, I don't think that the member who posted about the update didn't translate everything completely and one by one which Bandai noted original to all the promotion images because the most of the translated notes looks more like personally 
summarized bullet points but unfortunately I cannot do more for you either yeah well anyway the member wrote the following under this picture with point one the design of Dukemon for this kit is special based on how he appears in the anime the early preview really has an impressive look to it the colors and general lines scream anime even if Bandai would have certainly have embellished it a little better and nicer for their promotion with these words the member who posted the whole thing at the with the will forum sums everything up very well and you can only agree right for what it is and for the rather low price the Stupemon model kit is really nothing to sneeze at from the product images so far. And hey, you can clearly see that his cape is even made of real fabric. Man, and that for a model kit. Of course, it has no integrated wires, but at least that they took a real fabric cape into account for such a rather less expensive model kit. I already think that this is absolutely great from the Bandai designers for doing so. I don't know if Bandai officially mentioned it. I think they done it for sure, but the member didn't mention it surprisingly for his personal summary. That's why I wanted to mention this at first for my own info video here because I think that's just mega cool for a model kit. There was this rather very simple model kit of Dukemon back then in 2001 and you can for sure say that the new here looks a hundred percent better than this back then. Well that should be also the way for today's model kits but with that I rather meant if you should find this old Dukemon model kit figure somewhere today totally overpriced it don't worth to spend so much money for it anymore because there will be the new and better Dukemon model kit figure soon. I also think it's great that for all the in quotation marks only then missing paint apps, symbols and details because it is a model kit. Bandai took the stickers for detailing even the smallest details into account though. But the member had also not mentioned the stickers in his summary by the way. I am very sure that Bandai did this because they had mentioned this always for the promotion every time for the previous three announced anime design model kits of the series. Therefore, I think that Bandai, at least to one of those pictures, they mentioned that a sticker sheet for further detailing will be included. As you can see very well in this picture, he even comes, he even comes with additional normal option hands, which means that you can detach his two main weapons, his Holy Lens Cram and his holy shield Aegis and the impressive thing about this is not the detaching function itself because it is a model kit anyway which is made from single parts which has to be assembled but the impressive thing about this is that Bandai even took normal hands into account in order to have this swapping option to, to display Dukemon with his two main weapons or without and that for such a cheap model kit is just awesome or isn't it? Well they did that back then for this stereo Dukemon action figure and of course also for the 2012 the old Dukemon released by Bandai Machinations, but as I said, 
to take the option ports swapping option for this rather low priced model kit figure also into account is quite surprising and really really nice I think and if that weren't enough excuse me please and as if that weren't enough from the product images it seems as if Bandai has even considered the stickers for the paint apps for the symbols on these normal additional option hands so if that's really the case then that would be really great great plus again let us get with picture 4 to point 2 about which the member wrote the following satisfying just to assemble holy lens gram is molded molded in silver holy shield Aegis consists of multiple pieces to reproduce details cleanly and the Digimoji or digi codes are molded into the shield. I think that this time the member exactly translated Bandai's original own notes. With the assembly just be satisfying in itself, Bandai is probably aiming straight at how the shield was designed to highlight that again. That it consists of several differently colored plastic pieces and that the accurate design of his holy shield Aegis gets achieved by putting these different pieces together and that the de different details and paint apps of the shield could be reproduced and that it was done that way and that they not just use stickers for detailing the shield. Yeah. Achieving such a design from different, differently colored assembled plastic ports is typical for the Amplified Figurized Digimon model kits. I don't put one of mine together until yet, but I know this from other videos. So that system got reused here for the anime design Dukemon model kit and doing it so looks really really good I think, doesn't it? That his holy lens cram is molded from real silver plastic, I dare to doubt a little bit, but maybe I am wrong again. Normally the silver details on such model kits are generally molded from these typical, rather unpleasing looking, looking matte plastic grey colored parts, because that's just typical for model kits, you know that. If they really fix this weakness for this figurized Dukemon model kit figure and Bandai really molded the lens from silver plastic then that would be absolutely great and figurized Dukemon could so stand out from other model kits which have in contrary this normal more typical pale plastic look. That would be really brilliant for being an affordable model kit. So I guess that the two light grey pieces of the shield should actually be made of the same colored silver plastic too, so they are not to have color differences for the plastic pieces between the lens and the shield, which would be kind of bad and contrary again, but the member mentioned nothing about this further, so no, no idea about it, and I would say let us be surprised. I also wondering if the other details of the lens or stickers or plastic ports such as for the upper red section of the lens and the rivets. That brings us to picture 5 with point 3. Again here quite obviously Bandai's own words has been translated. Rapid use action poses while playing. The joints have a wide range of motion to rapid use action poses from the show easily. Yeah, the high degree of motion has always been highlighted in relation to the other kits before, so that's nothing new, but of course, absolutely great also for the figurized Dukemon model kit figure, and I think. The good posing ability gets really obvious by just looking at those images. 
this extra stand was even taken into account additional in order to fully guarantee or support the pose of the arm with the shield. I'm pretty sure that Bandai officially mentioned that also only the member who translated it didn't done it. Below the member only mentioned three more things. First, figure standard Yukon will be available to pre-order soon and I am pretty sure about that the pre-orders are opened for longer time now because as I said I'm very late with this info video. And second, the product is also using Dukemon Galantmon branding or both name versions so you can be sure a western release is coming which is also a very nice uh, thing for us. And third, really impressive looking kit for Dukemon and the price is even really nice. I think you can agree to the last few words and as far as you can judge this all from the product images and words from Bandai's promotion. But for the figure I standard Yukman model kit, Bandai's designers really put much effort in creating it and the best way which was possible in this price range. From the general design, mold and colors, really really good. True to detail and absolutely accurate to the appearance, appearance, appearance and character design in the anime. And for the smallest details we have stickers and they take them into account. Plus you even have option parts. So what more do you want? And excuse me please for the little misspelling here. Never did Bandai put so much effort in designing this figureized Yukmon because of Digimon Tamer's 20th anniversary or the designers who were responsible for the creation of Dukemon or big fans of Dukemon characters themselves. To me it seems like that or what do you think? The color design is also right for Dukemon or rather it doesn't matter for his general color scheme in terms of the original character design for being in quotation marks only a rather pale model kit with this typical plastic look because Dukemon's armor is also original mostly white, grey and not so shiny. I want to say with that for these reasons I find the choice for Dukemon and that he in quotation marks only comes as a rather pale model kit in the series not as unmatching and wrong as Bandai's choice in contrary for the first battle figure of Magnamon with today's proportions and standards for first new figure of Magnamon yeah to bring Magnamon in quotation marks as such a pale model kit since such a model kit cannot convey the appearance or the actually shininess of Magnamon's actual character design correctly and only with a golden metallic custom, pa custom paint job for his armor ports. That's just my opinion. And now I'm also wondering if Bandai even manages to mold Duke One's lens from silver plastic, why not also doing the same with gold colored plastic for figurize Magnamon's armor ports? Well, maybe too expensive for Magnamon to be still able to bring it under this low priced figurize anime design model kit series because of the available budget they have for each figure. But then I would just say wrong figure series or type and choice for Magnamon. I already mentioned this in the update video about figure I stand out Magnamon and yeah I think you know my video is about the DG Amazing Studio Magnamon KO figure arts figures now 
and they really showed it how a figure with today's standards and collector's wishes should rather be done. <laughs> yeah. For the reasons mentioned before, I find the choice for Dukeman quite matching in contrary again, because firstly, as I described, they really made an effort for him, and secondly, it is not so important for Dukeman's main colors so that they can release him as a rather pale model kit. The fact that his armor is made of, in quotation marks only, white plastic even benefits Dukeman to be absolutely accurate to the anime design and that it and that it is right here also received more than positive and well reactions by many fans already. The Dirty Dukeman action figure version here from back then also had a rather light grey armor with a shiny touch to it as you can see and I hope you can see the armor of the later The Arts Dukeman Collector's Action Figure by Bandai to Machinations 2012 was then also designed in such a similar way in terms of color. Yeah, here it is of course better rather lighter metallic silver but which I think was based on the color of the D-Real Dukeman back then. In comparison you also can still see along our white Digivaria version or the Western World release version of the old Gallantmon action figure. Yeah, this is how the Japanese Diria Dukemon action figure looked as our Digivaria Gallantmon version. And yeah, quite some obvious differences to notice. <laughs> Someone even said to me that despite the many missing paint apps, and the additional missing swap-able normal option hands that this person actually likes our version better over the Japanese one because of our figuries release versions white or more because being so more anime accurate and so the person do it prefer more than the shinier light grey armor of the Japanese D-Rail version. And I thought to myself, are you really serious? And of course I had to re react about this and did answer it something like this. Due to this color scheme of shiny grey, I thought that Bandai must have done this on purpose or for some purpose and there must be a reason why they colored the armor of Japanese Diri Dukeman that way. It also looks more like a real knight armor and because of this, for me personally, it was better implemented as this white armor of our Digivarial version, which by the way was the first one I owned. The similar color design they chosen for the armor of the later 2012 The Arts Dukeman Collector's Action Figure also confirmed my thoughts for me and I thought that Dukeman's armor in the anime maybe, just maybe, should be also considered never as really white, pure white, but rather as a very light silver. But which for portraying this right for the anime maybe have been too expensive. In the evil scene, Dukeman's armor also looked more like silver or grey than white. And also character design technically fits this coloration with such a knight armor better and what Dukeman actually should embody very well. Because one thing is for sure, our western world releases of the Digivario action figures were never so accurate and true to the anime colors in terms of the colors and color tones. Rather the opposite was true and the Japanese serial versions were always better and always much superior in terms of the colors compared to the 
Digi Warriors. And even if our Digi Warrior Galantmon version is white, it's just the white molding color of the plastic that Bandai America simply took advantage of. And believe me, that's a really ugly, colorless, unpainted white color on him. Maybe, just maybe, a bit clear-coated, but still ugly. <laughs> so the supposedly correct white is more coincidence, and because they took the advantage that it is just the white molding color in general, so don't needing to paint it. To be accurate, yeah, that's the the um, reason behind it. But this can be misinterpreted because it is the right white, yeah. But white or gray back and forth. Nevertheless, I think the color scheme a thousand times better on the Japanese Dere Duke Mon version compared to our Gallant Mon version. And for the reason mentioned just before, it is the figurehead for one of the worst paintworks with the biggest noticeable differences between our inferior versions compared to the superior Japanese serial versions of the series. Our Digivore Galantmon on the other hand looks like a cheap fake and so much more inferior not even including the countless missing paint apps and missing option hands. So that the new Dukemon model kit figure comes in white or more can also be seen as a kind of using this described advantage. Because with the old style it would only have such a typical plastic grey look if they had gone their Japanese grey style for the new one again. But since Dukemon's armor seems to be rather white in the anime and the new one should especially rapid use the anime colors, Bandai must have said, come on guys, we mold his parts out of white plastic so it is accurate to the anime and we can get away from the former cheap plastic grey look. I think that's the background behind it. Maybe not. And if it was like that though, the white looks a lot better than if they were or if they have gone for the grey colorless plastic again on the other hand. But most of the fans are just happy about, as you can already see, that he comes in white armor now like in the anime and don't think about the reasons any further. In short, since Bandai put a lot of effort into the figurized standard Dukemon, the new model kit is a very low priced and very good alternative to the Bexen new and now overpriced 2012 The Old Dukemon Collector's Action Figure. Of course, this has more the metallic color style and the model kit remains paler in comparison again. But hey, the model kit still looks really good and you could even give it an even better custom paint job yourself. At the bottom of the official Bandai Hobby Next face page, you even have a 360 degree view option for him. So have a look at the page yourself. And with that, we would be through again with this info vid. I didn't thought that I find so much material again and actually planned to keep this info with rather very short but hey <laughs> it was at the same time a short pre-comparison to previous figures of Dukemon or respectively Galantmon which I wanted to do I hope you enjoyed it all even if I was very late with the info with you if that's the case Leave me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Thank you for your attention. Also want to wish you right ahead a Merry Christmas, some quiet holidays and a Happy New Year. Because this is the only video in which I could do that still. Because the others in my storage are all pre-recorded and finished already. 
and this view I created yet because of the update. So until the next video, high five your Mega 88 1000.